the New York Mets are fighting for their playoff lives as I speak right now. They are battling Game 5 versus the Los Angeles Dodgers in the championship series. They're down 3-1. to one. They got fucking pulverized the last two games. 10-2 to two yesterday. Shohei went yard. No one's surprised. Dodgers won 8-0 the game before that. Last game at Dodger Stadium in this series. They're about to go back. That's why the Mets... The, not only the Mets need to win today just to keep going, period. But even with a win today, they'll still have to come back to Los Angeles, where I am, actively rooting against the Dodgers because I have so much blind faith. I, you know, a blind is wrong. I'm not going to say blind, but I've got a certain level of faith in a big purple creation from McDonald's named Grimace, who has been the magic piece to the Mets season. And I just cannot stop thinking about it. I have been so intrigued by the Grimace Mets all fucking season. I think it's incredible what's happening. They did not start off the season well at all. Specifically, at one point, pre-Grimace, they're 28-37. and 37. They're below 500. Nine games below 500. On June 12th, versus the Marlins, Grimace throws out the first pitch. It was game fucking over from there. It was fucking over with. Over with from there. The Mets win the next seven games. Now they're only two games below 500. They go on to finish the season 89 and 73 and barely sneak into the playoffs. They had to play a doubleheader after the season was over because of the first hurricane. I think that was Helene because of Helene. The Mets and Braves had to play a doubleheader the day after the season act was but was supposed to end. That that shit was crazy enough because all the Braves and Mets had to do was they just had to win one of those games and they would make it, but if there was a doubleheader sweep, then the winning team would have made it and the Arizona Diamondbacks would have been the last team in. Because the Mets and, I believe the Mets, Diamondbacks, and Braves all tied uh, within that wild card spot and only, well, I guess there's two spots and they all had the same record is what it was, I think. So yeah, that was... September 30th, the season was supposed to end on the 29th. So we get a doubleheader. Mets win game one, eight to seven, one run game, an absolutely insane game to get themselves even into the playoffs to be fighting for their lives right now. Mets are down three to nothing going into the eighth inning. They rally big time. Then the Braves tie it up in the bottom of the eighth. Ozzy Albies, bases clearing double. Then in the ninth inning, Francisco Lindor, it's a two-run home run. 33rd of the year. That puts the Mets ahead. Edwin Diaz finishes it off. They win game one. Mets are in the playoffs. So then there's game two. Mets do not have to give a fuck about this game at all. But, you know, if they happen to win it, then the Diamondbacks would have really appreciated that because they would have made the playoffs. Mets get shut out three to nothing. Diamondbacks miss the playoffs. Sorry. Tough. Braves just go on to lose two to nothing to the Padres in the wild card series. Padres go on to lose to the Dodgers in the divisional series. But the Mets, the Grimace Mets, let me tell you. The Grimace Mets then had to play the Milwaukee Brewers in the wild card game games. More than one game. Best of three. Best of three? Yeah, that is best of three. Sorry, I was thinking real hard there. Tied one-to-one. Mets are about to lose in that third game. Devin Williams on the mound. Brewers best pitcher. Lights out closer. 
gives up an opposite field home run to Pete Alonzo, pokes it over right field. I say pokes, but, you know, he's a big motherfucker. He hit it hard. Apparently, Devin Williams was tipping his pitches in one way or another by, like, the height of the glove. You could apparently uh, tell whether he was throwing a changeup or a fastball. So he uh, had a good chance that that had a component to him giving up that home run there because I think it was on a changeup. So Pete Alonzo, easy to assume he'd be looking fastball most of the time, you know, hit that changeup out. He's still a damn good player. Who the hell actually knows? But I did see that. I thought that was very interesting. So game one versus Philly. In the eighth inning, Mets are down one to nothing, haven't done anything all game pretty much. They then go on to score six runs, sorry, five runs in the eighth inning, tacked on another in the ninth, and then win game one six to two. Magical. They did that in Philly too. That's a big deal. That's hard to do that there. That game started with a Kyle Schwarber home run, I think. Yeah, no, yeah, that place just went fucking nuts. Phillies win the next game 6-7. to seven. Mets win the one after that, 7-2. to two. First game at first New York Mets playoff game in how long? I don't know. Home Mets playoff game? I, I love to see it. I was just so happy. Grimace was there, and it was a big fucking deal. And I'm pretty sure it was this game that produced the whole reason why I've why I have just been so just concentrated on the Mets winning this series and doing it this year because of Grimace. Because I saw a video of Grimace entering the subway, but he wasn't just entering the subway. The view was from inside the train car itself. A mass of people chanting Grimace's name. And Grimace just hops into the car, into the metro. He just hops in there to cheers of his name. Grimace, Grimace. Everybody's jumping around him. It's it's fucking amazing. It's one of the most magical videos I've truly ever seen. And I was just so, I've not gotten it out of my head. And I've just been, it's made me so emotionally invested in the Mets pulling this shit off I mean seriously I mean I am convinced destiny is on their fucking side destiny's on their side I am convinced I'm absolutely convinced I'm telling you go find that video it is a video from inside a metro car grimace is hopping into the car to cheers and excitement of Mets fans going to the first home game and god knows how long uh, first home playoff game. It, it was, it's magic. I mean, that's a, shit like that is like why people go to Disney World, in my opinion. So it, it was really right there for me. It's uh, The Mets did go on to win. Uh, hold on. The Mets did win. Yeah, they won that one. If you want to also, if you want to see the video, most recent tweet. On the Bullpen Podcast Twitter, it's X now, but you know what I'm fucking talking about. It has that TikTok link in there for that video that I'm talking about. Because I had to post it today because, again, the Mets are fighting for their life. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to see what the score is right now because I know the game recently started. And I just don't want to know. I don't have a great way to watch it right now. And I'm scared to look. I got to do this first. So I'm doing this first and I'm checking after. And I'm, you know, I'm not letting the results of what's going on now uh, uh, taint my grimace excitement, okay? Because I waited too long to record this already, so we're we're doing it now. But I'm telling you, go watch that video. I'm so, I'm not fucking kidding. It's the best thing that I've ever seen, and if you watch it, you'll understand what I mean. And if you don't want to go watch it, then that's on you. If you don't want to fully understand, then fine. Stay in the dark and don't be a part of something magical. That's not on me. But I'm saying, he was hopping in there. I saw both angles. I saw the angle of whoever was recording Grimace entering the car as well. I mean, it's just as exhilarating. I also saw that New York Metro did a nice little thing... It, 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 there's a nice little YouTube video of Grimace, you know, going th- using a tap card and, you know, going through the process of 
riding the metro, and it, it was real nice. You know, Grimace's face was on the car. It was awesome. I I loved it. I really did. But that's not the video I'm talking about. You know, that's a very nice, like, oh, hey, city, metro, city, look at us. We're very, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I don't fucking know, man. It was a nice video. Grimace was waving. People were excited to see him. He was he was getting treated like the president, you know. People were taking pictures with him. It was great. But that's that. Watch that one too if you want. But that's not the one I'm talking about. I can't. There was different stories. Both Grimace was in both places in the same day. Very different stories. Okay, that's my point. That's my point. So if you're browsing around YouTube, YouTube has the Metro one. TikTok and and honestly everywhere on God's green earth has the the actual video of Grimace jumping into the metro to a bunch of excited motherfuckers chanting for him. That's the one. I I cannot emphasize that enough. So if you watch that, uh, you'll understand my excitement. I'm a true believer in the Grimace Mets, and I'm just gonna be. You know the Dodgers. I they they just don't have to win it this year, you know, they did, they spent so much fucking money in the off season. no one was surprised, but it's just what they did, and so it's like, you know, you just don't win it the first year, like, Shohei's gonna stay good forever, Shohei's way too fucking good now, it's not like I'm rooting against the guy, Shohei's one of my favorite players, if you ever listen to this podcast in the past, I, you would know that too, multiple episodes about Shohei, a big fan of Shohei, I don't even hate the Dodgers. I live in the same place now, and I'm excited to go to Dodger games next year just because I love baseball and I respect the Dodgers and great franchise and all that. But also, the last three days, I've been tweeting at them with pictures of Grimace and such and just letting them know where I fucking stand because I, I'm just a true believer in what's going on here, and I think it's special and it's got to be acknowledged. And that's why uh, that's why I'm here now. So if you listen this far, I really appreciate it. I got a lot of fun uh, on this show, as always. I've got a lot of episodes, uh, episode ideas that I'm pretty excited about. There's just so much baseball stuff that's been going on. And, you know, assuming the Grimace Mets uh, fall in line with Destiny today, we're going to keep following them. But I've started making a list of just a bunch of things from this season that happened that I really want to dive into kind of like this shit that gets me excited shit that is fun to talk about but honestly nothing's going to be more fun to talk about right now than uh than the Grimace Mets on the brink of something really special so again I'm fucking excited they got a tough road but I think they can do it game one Dodgers nine to nothing Game two, Mets win 7-3 to three in Dodger Stadium, mind you. But then, like I said before, Dodgers whooped them 8 to nothing, then beat the shit out of them last night 10-2. to two. They are playing game five right now, and I'm hoping that next time you hear from me, we got good news from the Grimace Mets. And uh, again, it's fucking magical. It's just, uh, how else can you put it? I mean, it's it's magic. Baseball magic. It's exciting. Grimace is a cool motherfucker. If you are listening, you're a cool motherfucker too. Thank you very much. I, again, I always have a lot of fun over here. I'll be back somewhat soon. And I hope you have a great weekend.